More than 28,000 people have been infected. Over 500 have died by the end of Wednesday in China because of the ongoing epidemic caused by a novel coronavirus. At the same time, the country is taking all measures it can to fight the disease that started at the end of last year. Wearing a facial mask is an effective way to avoid infection. But for medical staff who are dealing with the patients in the hospital, they face a higher risk of infection, even with protective gear. Next, I'm going to talk to a doctor and find out how can we better protect the medical staff. Nu At the hospital in Hefei City, capital of East China's Anhui province, doctors are using some of the latest technology and equipment to combat the virus. Tani Medicine is a good example. A video and image system has been designed and installed in patients' rooms to connect their information. Thanks to the technology of 5G supported by China Mobile, high-definition videos can be transmitted in real time from the isolated wards to the meeting room or even doctors' cell phones so that they can avoid close contacts with patients but still have access to their body conditions. With this technology, patients in other parts of the province can also enjoy the service of top experts from the provincial capital, including the patients in Fuyang City, about 200 kilometers away from Hefei. Besides Tani Medicine, some other products have been equipped at Chinese hospitals as well to fight the disease, such as carrier robots to reduce human contact and big data to trace infected people. China is taking a lot of measures in order to fight the virus, including using the newest technologies. I really hope that China can get through this hard time soon. Stay strong, China. The war is standing behind you in this battle against the virus. You are not alone. Thanks to the hard work of doctors and nurses, more and more patients have been discharged from hospital after recovery. Researchers are working around the clock on the vaccine. China will defeat the virus in the end. I'm Liu Fangjiang with Xinhua News Agency. Thank you for watching and stay healthy. See you next time.